Thanks, Mike. Hi, everybody. I'm really excited and looking forward to taking you through this demo today. So let's begin. And for the purposes of this demo, I'll be playing the role of a wealth advisor. And here is my Symphony desktop. And you can see on the bottom left of my screen that my new research signal has been triggered. And a signal is basically just a way for me to tag content so that I can easily find any relevant information later. Now here you can see that there is some new research that has been posted on inflation rates. And I need to use this for my client conversations to discuss impacts on any of their portfolios and their balances. And at the top of the room, we also see that there is a related campaign to book portfolio rebalance meetings with our clients. So now, because this message is using a technology that can be updated by bots, it will update live as we go through this demo, and my team books their meetings with their clients. And this is a really exciting feature, and as Mike mentioned earlier as well, we're really excited about this new capability, but this, because this can be used to update any kind of data to track real-time market workflows. So let's reach out to my customers, and the easiest way for me to do that is via a blast message. Now, a blast message is simply like a BCC message for chat, so you know, it's really easy. And with a blast, I can send a single message to all of my contacts, and I can just reach them with one click. Now, Symphony makes this process really simple, as you can see, but because even though I'm in just one single application, which is Symphony, my clients can be reached where they prefer, right? And all of this is while meeting my compliance requirements. So, for example, a few of my clients will receive my message on WhatsApp, while the others can receive it on WeChat, and you know, the rest can receive it via text. But we can do all of this via a single Symphony app, and that is so key and so important. You can also see here that I've included a voice clip disclaimer that we typically send to our clients before we share any new research. And I'm sure many of you know that this is a regulatory requirement in many markets. So this is just another example of how we're making lives easier for our clients with features that we provide. So now let's go ahead and see what this looks like for my client, Chad. Chad prefers WhatsApp. And you can see that Chad has received my attachments, my message, and my voice clip. And when Chad replies in WhatsApp, it will appear on my Symphony screen. So it looks like Chad wants to chat with us, and he wants to chat with us via um, the live Zoom meeting details. Once we get this, once he gets this, he says that he is interested in, in actually meeting with us via Zoom. Let's send him some of our Zoom details, and then he can meet with us live. So I've initiated the Zoom meeting, and since as you can see, I'm on stage, and my part of the demo is being run by my colleague, Adil, who's right over here. You <laughs> see him on screen with the lovely glasses. I love the look. Hey, Adil. <laughs> and there we see Chad. I love the new yacht, Chad. That's great. One day, Mike, we too will have a yacht like that. Uh, so that really... Together? Clearly, together, oh, maybe. Well, or maybe our separate ones. Yeah, <laughs> ideally separate. But I'll, I'll take a joint one as well. Maybe it's a timeshare. Yeah. We'll figure it out. Yeah, that'll do too. Um, so as you guys can see, that was really clearly a very productive conversation. And you know, because we offer such cool digital tools and technologies, Chad totally wants to book future meetings with us. So let's go back into the campaign room and update my team regarding this meeting. And as we talked about earlier, you can see that the message on top of the room has been updating, and looks like my team has been busy. So let's log in my own meeting request. 
I just simply need to just mention my bot, and when it comes up, I can chat, type in Chad's name, select the meeting type, add in my comments, and when I click Save, the meeting on the top of the room will update, and the confirmation details will be posted for visibility. So now let's recap. In this example, we've seen a firm that was using its custom campaign tracking bot to run this workflow. But we could easily run a similar workflow for a firm that uses any other platform, like Salesforce, for example. So Mike, what did you think of that demo? I think it was great. I think uh, you know, when, I, when I become a private wealth customer, I'm excited to uh, <laughs> see it on the other side.